Hi, I'm Dave Karger. Welcome back to TCM, where we're kicking off a month-long celebration of the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers. We'll be tracing the studio's history through its films, and we're starting today with Warner's first decade, especially movies produced during the pre-code era of the early 1930s. Up next is a film that teamed two of the studio's most reliable stars of the era, Warren William and Loretta Young. From 1933, it's Employee's Entrance. Like many pre-code pictures, this movie includes topics that the Hollywood production code would begin censoring the following year. And even by today's standards, the film is often shocking. Warren William plays a corporate hotshot who's brought in to save a struggling department store. He's ruthless and sweeps aside anyone who drags the company down. He also uses his power to sexually coerce a much younger, naive employee, played by Loretta Young, and then sets out to destroy her marriage to his top salesman, played by Wallace Ford. Warren Williams' character is the kind he often played at Warner Brothers in the early 30s, and his popularity during the era earned him the nickname King of the Precode. Loretta Young was also a resident heroine at the studio during this period. After a successful start in silent films, she made her sound debut in 1929 and went on to make more than 20 films for Warners over the next four years. She left in 1933 and took her talents over to Fox, and as a devout Catholic, she tried to present a more pious image later in her career. Employee's Entrance was not the kind of movie she looked back on fondly. We'll see the film in a moment, but first, we have a TCM original about Loretta Young's career, narrated by Marlo Thomas. After that, from 1933, Employee's Entrance. Warren Williams' character in this film is unquestionably despicable, but in 1933, when Employee's Entrance premiered, he represented the kind of figure that audiences were ready to root for. The film was released just weeks after FDR's inauguration, and in the depths of the Depression, audiences wanted a strong man who would take charge and get the economy moving again, a man not unlike the character of Kurt Anderson in this film. Of course, one year later, this kind of character would not appear on screen in a Hollywood film. The production code went into strict effect on July 1st, 1934, and it set forth specific rules for what could and could not be shown in movies. The sympathy of the audience, it said, should never be thrown to the side of crime, wrongdoing, evil, or sin. Characters would not be allowed to get away with crimes at the end of a film, but here, as we just saw, Warren Williams' character goes completely unpunished for all of his shocking crimes. Up next, I'm turning it over to Ben Mankiewicz for the first night in our Warner Brothers centennial celebration, beginning with a documentary about the studio's origins and the four brothers who started it all.